Debt consolidation can seem like a magic bullet for tackling overwhelming debt. It promises to simplify your finances, lower your interest rates, and help you pay off your debt faster. But is it really all it's cracked up to be? Before you jump on the consolidation bandwagon, it's crucial to weigh the pros and cons carefully. This article will delve into the nitty-gritty of debt consolidation, helping you decide if it's the right move for your unique financial situation. What is debt consolidation? In a nutshell, debt consolidation involves taking out a new loan to pay off your existing debts. This new loan ideally has a lower interest rate than your current debts, streamlining your payments into one manageable monthly bill. There are two main ways to consolidate debt. 1. Debt Consolidation Loan This is a personal loan used specifically to pay off other debts. 2. Balance Transfer Credit Card This involves transferring your high-interest credit card balances to a new card with a 0% introductory APR offer. Pros of Debt Consolidation Potentially lower interest rates If you qualify for a good interest rate on your consolidation loan, you could save a significant amount of money on interest charges over time. Simpler payments. Juggling multiple bills can be stressful. Consolidation simplifies your finances by bringing all your debts under one roof, making budgeting and tracking progress easier. Faster payoff. A consolidation loan often comes with a fixed repayment term, which can help you pay off your debt faster than making minimum payments on multiple debts. Improved credit score. Making on-time payments on your consolidation loan can improve your credit score over time. Cons of debt consolidation. Upfront costs. There may be origination fees, application fees, and closing costs associated with taking out a consolidation loan. Temptation to overspend. Having a lower monthly payment can be tempting to see as extra money in your pocket. Be wary of falling into the trap of using this freed up cash for new debt. Longer repayment term. While consolidation can help you pay off your debt faster in some cases, it can also extend your repayment term if you choose a longer loan term to lower your monthly payment. Risk of default. If you struggle to make your consolidation loan payments, you could end up in a worse financial situation than before. Is debt consolidation right for you? The answer to this question depends on your individual circumstances. Here are some factors to consider. Your debt amount and interest rates. If you have a lot of high-interest debt, consolidation could be a good option. However, if your debt is relatively small or has low interest rates, consolidation may not be worth the hassle and fees. Your credit score. You'll need good credit to qualify for the best interest rates on consolidation loans. If your credit score is poor, you may not be able to get a loan with a significantly lower interest rate than your current debts. Your budgeting and spending habits. Consolidation is not a magic bullet for overspending. If you struggle to stick to a budget, consolidation could actually make your debt problem worse. Alternatives to debt consolidation If debt consolidation isn't the right fit for you, there are other options to consider. Debt snowball or avalanche method These methods involve focusing on paying off your smallest or highest interest debts first, respectively. Credit counseling a credit counselor can help you create a debt repayment plan and negotiate with your creditors to lower your interest rates. Bankruptcy. This should be a last resort, but it can be a way to get a fresh start if you're drowning in debt. Debt consolidation can be a valuable tool for managing debt, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Carefully weigh the pros and cons before you decide if it's right for you. And remember, no matter what debt repayment method you choose, the most important thing is to stick to your plan and avoid taking on new debt.